My name is Dr. Valerie Jones with Ray Biotech, the Protein Array Pioneer Company. We have earned that title by introducing the very first antibody array to the market in 2001. Since then, we have released the broadest range of arrays available for the discovery of protein biomarkers and disease mechanisms. The Quantibody Array is a multiplex ELISA array that enables researchers to determine the concentrations of multiple cytokines in one assay. Upon receipt, all components of the Quantibody Array Kit should be stored frozen. Before beginning your assay, let the slide equilibrate to room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes inside the sealed plastic bag. Then remove the slide from the plastic bag, peel off the adhesive cover film, and let it air dry for one to two hours. Before discarding the slide bag, be sure to write the serial number from the bag on the back of the slide using a permanent marker. This will help you easily distinguish one slide from another. Be sure to write the number on the very edge of the slide. Add 100 microliters of sample diluent into each well to block the slides. When adding reagents to the slide, touch the pipette tip to the outermost corner of the well and release the liquid gently. This will prevent the antibody spots from becoming smeared. It's also important to avoid bubbles within the wells. Block the slides for 30 minutes on an orbital shaker at one to two cycles per second. You may also block overnight at four degrees C. To reconstitute the cytokine standards, add 500 microliters of sample diluent to the vial. For best recovery, always centrifuge the vial prior to opening. Gently mix to dissolve the powder thoroughly. In a series of eight tubes, create a serial dilution of the cytokine standard by mixing 200 microliters of sample diluent with 100 microliters of the previous dilution. After blocking is complete, Decant the sample diluent buffer from each well. Then add 100 microliters of cytokine standards or samples and incubate for one to two hours. After incubation, decant the samples and standards from each well. Then add 150 microliters of wash buffer one and shake gently for five minutes. Be sure to completely remove the wash buffer from the wells after each wash step. Add 80 microliters of detection antibody cocktail to each well and incubate for one to two hours. Decant the antibody from each well. Then wash the slide as before. Again, be sure to completely remove the wash buffer after each step. Add 80 microliters of streptavidin conjugated fluorochrome to each well. To avoid exposure to light, cover the slide with aluminum foil or incubate in a dark room. Incubate for one hour. Decant the streptavidin floor from each well and wash the slide as described before. At this point, the slide may be taken apart. Remove the chamber assembly from the slide by pushing the clips outward from the side. Carefully remove the slide from the gasket. Place the slide in the four slide holder provided in the kit and add enough wash buffer one to completely submerge the slide. Then shake gently for 15 minutes. Decant the wash buffer one from the slide holder and add wash buffer two. Shake gently for five minutes. Before scanning your arrays, the slide must be completely dry. Water droplets can be completely removed by centrifugation at 1000 RPM for three minutes. Ray Biotech also offers testing services. Researchers can ship their biological samples to us and our experienced scientists will perform the antibody array experiment. For more information about Ray Biotech's antibody arrays or services, please visit our website at www.raybiotech.com or contact us by email at info at raybiotech.com.